precious part. I wish they'd send you new clips with these things. For how much you pay for the fuckers, you'd think they would. I was going to replace that, but that's actually kind of neat. That's an actual Ford one, huh? Weird. I got the front prepped and ready to go in, but there's supposed to be a piece that goes across here. And like a maroon, I forgot to paint it with the rest of the truck. So, so we're moving backwards here. It's raining. I don't think I'm going to get the bed painted today, but maybe I'll lift it and wash it out and get it ready. So when it is nice, we can just brush her, brush her on. But there's a lot of other stuff I can be doing. I can be putting these mirrors on and figure it out. Boing. Okay, it's a mirror. So I was waiting on cab lights because I didn't think that these new ones came with bulbs. But at the bottom of the box there is bulbs, so the only thing is, I thought these would just go right in, they're different, so that ain't going to work. I think what we're going to do, I like the fact that you can unplug them, so instead of hard wiring these new pigtails in, I think we'll just solder, solder that on. Plus, I can do it inside where it's not sopping wet. Apologies for the shithole. I've been busy. So I'll show you what I usually do. I just split them. Like so. And grab them right about there. Push it all together. And twist.
There we ain't got that big bump. Trying to solder a little shit heap there. I think I got one more to do here. And then we'll throw them in. Somehow managed not to lose these clips. It's kind of a first for me. Right, right in the roof. That's that's where I wanted to put that. Four more. Where is it? Where is it? Got it. You gotta tell me more than three or four times. Sweet. So I'm just getting the batteries out so that we can, uh, we got to get down way down there to put that, that doodad on. The one we missed and have to paint. Um, it's got me thinking about how many times I've welded screwdrivers to shit, being in a hurry. Always take the negative off first. Because then, when you drop the bugger like this, you know, it won't fucking weld to the truck. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. Because although it's scary sticking the fucker to the truck, it's even scary trying to get the fucker off. There they be. One more coat and we can put it on. This is the working half of the truck, so I'm not too concerned with pretty. Just gonna brush some rust oleum on. A couple holes I gotta patch up, but I can circle back to that. So yeah, this thing's essentially done after this paint. Um, it was a really fun project and kind of bummed to see it quote unquote end. But there'll be more. Appreciate you guys sticking around. And without further ado, here's some shots of it going down the road.
Oh, there it is. Sorry about the abrupt. Oh yeah, by the way, it's done. Um, I've been a working fool lately. So I hadn't had time to film. So I'm in my busy season. This thing's probably just gonna get put away. But uh, probably make a couple little tinkery videos. But next spring, We'll do something with that. This is my wife's project. I know she really wants to see something cool happen. Mind the mess, it's a bit of a construction zone. Been dicking around, new stairs, soon to be, but you know, it's just gutted. So we got this. We got this thing for 500 bucks. It was in some guy's field. You remove 500 bucks. Got it running. Drove it away. And then she sits. So I know my wife wants to make it a cabin. There's about 10 million videos of how to turn a bus into a home. But, uh. I figured I'd do a couple of just dicking around with it. Nothing crazy. I already did all the mechanical shit. And the weldy shit. So it'd kind of just be finishing it out. But anyway, I'm rambling. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.